What's up everybody, welcome to Canoe Reviews and today I will be reviewing Dunkirk and this is a film where you get certain expectations in your head as you're walking into it because Christopher Nolan's name is slapped on the front and when you see that you kind of think okay it's going to be well directed, it'll be shot well, it'll be on a grand scale and really well made plus it'll probably take something from an established genre and kind of change it and twist it around to make something kind of unique or kind of fresher in the eyes of the audience and with Dunkirk I think this is the most real and powerful movie he has made in a long time and Dunkirk is about soldiers being trapped on Dunkirk which is like a beach whilst they're getting bombed and there's people at home kind of Sunday boaters who get in their boats and try and travel along the channel to try and save as many people as they can so it's basically there's about these soldiers trying to get off in this island this beach area just as much as they can trying to just get out as fast as they can get away from this place well, if people are coming to save them, it's just about all these areas, even people in the sky, try to fight their pilots, try to stop them from getting bombs. It's just about everything happening at the same time, just being kind of a really bad situation in a war. And the thing that really grabbed me about this film and makes it kind of hard hitting is how real the goddamn film is. It's actually scary how real this film is because everything you see on screen is real. All the boats are real, the planes flying by them are real, the sets are real on the locations, they're on a location instead of being in a set somewhere and everybody you see on screen is real. They must have used so many extras in this damn movie because they haven't put a green screen up and copy and pasted a couple of guys to make the crowds look bigger. There is actually so many people in there I made it feel real and like you're actually watching what happened all those years ago because it's just shot how it should be. It's just proper and real and just really hits it because it puts you in the war zone. It puts you in that event from the get-go. As soon as it starts, you're in there, you're with that main character, running around trying not to get shot, dropping on the floor when bombs are dropping, getting in a boat, swimming like mad, just trying to get away from this event. And it just puts you in that because of how real the film is made. And that just really hit home there because you feel how scary and tense this battle must have been on this event, how much they want to get home, just how scary and tense this must have been. It just really makes you kind of sit in front of your seat. I think I just sat forward and didn't move the whole time because of how engrossing it is because it just really makes you feel like it's happening. It just really made it tense and kind of a new kind of type of war movie because you feel like you're in there running around trying not to die and feeling everything that's happening. It just, it was kind of a new experience for me in a war movie and just really really gripped you in it and it just makes it really tense as well when stuff's happening like if they're in the water or just running around dropping the floor without bombs it's just it's such a tense kind of war movie and I think that really sells what happened and that it was a really bad situation it's just a really great way to take a war movie and the soundtrack and the sounds also really help selling it because the sound effects are amazing I'm a sound effect guy I love sound effects I love sound design sound is the biggest movie going experiences for me that's the biggest thing I love about going in the cinema and holy crap are those sound effects amazing but bullets hit off boats on the sides of on the beach and all that you actually kind of jump because the sound effects are not well made when the bombs whiz past going down in this from the sky and explode you kind of jump and it kind of really hits you in your chest. You feel it hit you because of how well made these sound effects are. And when the planes are flying past, shooting at each other in the dogfights, it's just really, really engrossing because the sound effects are spectacular and actually f make you kind of jump around and move about in the cinema because you think it's happening with how well made they are. And the soundtrack helps that as well because it's kind of a subtle underlying tone to these sound effects and what's going on on screen. They kind of just sell where they are in the location and what's going on. It's just... A really good sound experience when they're in the movie and again sells how real and how terrifying this situation would have been and the only problem I have with this movie is the characters. So they get hardly any development to an extent where you don't really get connected to them or really care and I feel like that lets the film down because if you knew more about them like at least their names, why they're there, maybe why they join the ar army, what they have waiting for them at home, just something you would care about it and get really more tense and more kind of terrified when bad stuff's happening to them because I didn't, I just didn't really care about the characters really because nothing is done to them. And they hardly even speak. Like the main character we're with throughout the movie doesn't speak for like half the film. And then when he does, it's hardly anything. And it's still very little. And this film is about an event. So I can kind of get why they did that. It's about an event. It's to show you why this was really bad and to get you really engrossed in it. But overall, I feel the character element just let it down a bit because I feel like it would have given it more of an emotional punch and really sold it a bit more if you cared about these characters and that's really the only problem but you know it's about an event you can do that but if you get rid of the character moments 
or elements to describe them or develop them across the movie. It will harm the movie throughout. It's just that's the only real fault with it. It's a really hard hitting war movie. It's scarily real with how they shot it and the stuff they used for it. Like everything on the screen is real. The soundtrack and that really sell that it's a war zone kind of make you jump around and terrified about it. It's just a really well made war movie that really shows off that this event was really bad and a terrifying situation and a war really just hits you home with that with how hard people fight in this movie and how hard people try and get there to help them just how together a country becomes to save their soldiers it's just it's a really powerful movie one of the most powerful and enthralling movies i've sat through this year i didn't move i was engrossed as soon as it began because it's just it's really well handled it's just a really good movie dunkirk is definitely worth checking out so i'm going to give dunkirk a quality it's a really good christopher nolan movie he definitely brought it for this retelling of an event and just really hit the home about it it was just it was really well handled they did a really good job of this they just handled it beautifully it's a really well made movie so i'm going to leave this review here guys if you like the video leave a like leave a comment tell me what you think about dunkirk and also don't forget to subscribe as it does really really help me out guys so thank you guys so much for watching and for your support i love you guys and stay tuned for the next video